Thank you. And uh, here I will uh, report some of our, re our research on the ultrasonic NDT and its application on the uh, petroleum uh, engineering. The topic is the ultrasonic flexural wave in the case borehole and the evaluation of the semen bound quality. And I will show some numerical simulations in this presentation. I'm Xiao He from Institute of Acoustics, China. And here are the brief content of our, my presentation. First, I will give a brief introduction of the cementine quality evaluation in the case ball holes. Now here is a borehole in the oil field and the petroleum oil can be extracted from this pipe and sent to the ground. And the workers need to pump the cement into the area uh, between the casing and the formation. Here the cement is uh, used as a supporter for the uh, casing and uh, more important is that the cement is used to uh, isolate the fluid interchange between the uh, layers in the formation. And for example, we need to prevent the oil uh, flowing into the other layers of the form into the formation uh, through the channels of the cement. So it, the cement bound quality is very significant for the productivity and significant for the uh, oil fuel. And uh, usually the uh, defect of the cement uh, annulus will appear at two places. The first one is the, uh, located at the uh, interface between the casing and the cement, and an another place is uh, located at the uh, interface between the cement and the uh, formation. So uh, usually people would like to use the acoustic logging method to evaluate the cement bound uh, uh, quality and find the defect of the uh, cement uh, annulus. Uh, this is a sketch for of the conventional uh, logging tool for the uh, for the evaluation of the cementing qualities, and uh, they use the uh, symmetric uh, transducers and at the low frequencies. These kinds of tools can be uh, if, uh, can effectively uh, evaluate the the uh, uh, the cementing uh, quality at the interface uh, immediately behind the casing, but it cannot uh, reach the uh, interface between the uh, cement and the formation. So this is the problem we need to issue. Here is a new, okay. Here is a, a, a Sony logging tool newly uh, proposed by Schromberger Corporation in the recent 10 years, and it would like to use the uh, liquid flexural wave. And we can see there are a uh, There are one transmitters and uh, two receivers, and, and uh, 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 different from the conventional uh, logging tools, all of the transducers are in a, at the inclined uh, angles, and they would uh, transmit the ultrasonic wave and uh, propagate along the casing that is the flexural wave and received by the receiver. And this logging tool was designed for the imaging of the cement uh, annulus. And in this work, we would like to uh, investigate the, whether this kind of technique can, can evaluate the cement bound quality in, of the annulus. <coughs> and here is the uh, dispersion curve for the lamp wave in the casing. And uh, if we set the transducers uh, angled at a certain point, uh, for example, larger than the uh, shear critical angle, only the a uh mode can be excited. That is the liquid flexural mode we want. And other modes cannot be excited at all. And these are the uh, wave propagation paths. And one of, some of the energy will uh, propagate along the casing. And some will uh, leak out and uh, make uh, generate some reflection at the interface between the formation and the annulus and the take back to the receiver. And to show the wave propagation properties, I will need to, I would like to uh, use the finite difference simulations to uh, review the wave uh, propagation. And here are the uh, multi-layer models we would like to use. There are four uh, medias, uh, media, they are the uh, mud, 
layers and then the casing and the cement and the rock formations respectively. So there are three uh, interfaces and we define them as the first, the second and the third interface uh, respectively. And notice that the third interface uh, between the casing and the cement and the third interface between the rock and the cement are the uh, interface we want to uh, evaluation, evaluate. And these are the computational region of the finite difference. Here are the numerical simulations uh, we obtained. And uh, first we uh, investigate the snapshot of the wave propagation uh, in the case that both the second and the third interface are well bounded. Here are uh, several wave components uh, in the snapshot, and uh, we notice that uh, uh, wave, wave front C uh, propagating along the casing are the flash low wave. And notice that this kind of uh, mo guided waves are the leaky ones. That means it's a, a leaky, but it radiates the energy inside and outside the casing uh, during the propagation. And the uh, wave energy radiate outside the casing will make some uh, reflection at the interface between the uh, cement and the formation and then uh, uh, transmit back to the casing and generate the uh, flash low wave again. So there are two wave fronts for the flash low wave that is uh, denoted by D and H and they are the uh, first arriving flash low wave and the later arriving flash low wave. So if there is a fluid channel uh, appear at the interface between the casing and the annulus. Uh, here the uh, fluid field channel is just like a block. They block the uh, wave energy leak out of the casing. So most of the energy is uh, focused inside the casing. So the wave from D that is uh, propagate directly in the casing will greatly enhance compared with the uh, uh, well bounded Cases. And on the other hand, if the uh, channel appear at the interface between the casing, uh, uh, appear uh, between the, case, the cement and the rock formation, and the reflection at this uh, interface will greatly enhance. So the uh, later arriving flash low wave will uh, become much stronger than before. Uh, now we can see the uh, comparison of these three cases. This is the well bounded. This is the second uh, interface uh, debunking, and the channel appear at the third interface. It is quite different. So next, we will uh, simulate the acoustic responses at the receivers. First is the comparison of the wave uh, responses to the uh, debunking at the second uh, interface. Here, the black line denotes to the uh, waveform for the well bounded borehole and the red one are the responses to the uh, channel appear at the second interface. So it is quite different because the first arriving, the flash low wave, uh, uh, we also call them the primary flash low wave, uh, much greater. And if we extract the attenuation, attenuation of the primary flash low wave, it can be seen that it is sharply uh, decreased with the thickness of the channel increase. So we can easily uh, evaluate the cement bound quality at that interface you, uh, by uh, ejecting the attenuation of the primary flash low wave. And next, if the channel appear at the third interface, the uh, later arriving flash low wave, we also call them the uh, secondary flash low wave, become much stronger. So we can uh, use this property to evaluate the second uh, evaluate the uh, cement bound quality at the third interface uh, between the cement and the formation by uh, extracting the amplitude of the secondary flash low wave. But this is only valid for the conventional uh, cement with the uh, greater uh, density and the faster uh, velocity. If uh, we use the light uh, cement that is with the similar uh, acoustic impedance Relate, uh, compared to the uh, fluid channel, and we can hardly tell the difference between whether the uh, interface between the cement and the formation is good or not, because the uh, amplitude of the secondary flash low wave mainly depends on the impedance difference at the third interface. Finally, we will see some uh, com 
uh, acoustic responses with different uh, thickness of the channel at the third interface. And here are the full wave uh, envelope obtained by the Gilbert transformation. And here are the secondary flash low wave. It moved earlier if the ch uh, thickness of the channel at the third interface uh, become greater. So using this uh, property, we can uh, roughly estimate the uh, location and the thickness of the channel at that interface and they can obtain the image of the uh, cement annulus. So here are the conclusion of our work. There are two loop modes we can find uh, excited in the case borehole. The primary flash low wave, uh, which is uh, propagate all along the casing and arrive earlier. And the secondary flash low wave arrive later and uh, generated by the reflection. And the primary flash low wave are very sensitive to the cement bound quality at the casing and the cement boundary. And if the attenuation of the primary flash low wave decreases with the increasing uh, thickness of the channel at that interface. And uh, on the other hand, the secondary flash low wave are sensitive to the bound quality at the cement and formation boundary but this is only for the conventional cement. And the responses of the secondary flash low wave will enhance due to the channel at the interface. And moreover, the secondary flash low wave will arrive earlier with the increasing thickness of that channel. So due to our, according to our research, we can evaluate the cement bound quality of the interface uh, between the casing and cement using the attenuation of the primary flash low wave. And moreover, we can evaluate the bond quality uh, of the, at the cement and formation interface by extracting the uh, amplitude of the secondary flash low wave. But the later one is only valid for the conventional center, uh, conventional cement. Uh, that is all of my uh, presentation.